her back. <laughs> that did not go. <laughs> In my head, I was your Venus. <laughs> your fire, your desire. You have a, I fucked up somewhere. Like the people are access I fucked up somewhere. I'm pregnant as fuck. No, really. Like, we have four weeks left. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. So, for the OGs out there, you know exactly who this is. And for those of you who don't know, this is my best friend, Daisy, the woman who helped me start it all. And today, I have the privilege of doing her maternity makeup. So we're gonna start off with the Eve Lom moisturizing mask. So ever since she's gotten pregnant, her skin has been extremely dry and this tends to happen with pregnancy as I've experienced with a couple of um, my clients before where I've done maternity shoots. So instead of just going in with a regular moisturizer for her, I'm going in with a full on moisturizing mask so that her skin can just really soak it up and it really helps with her glow and it's gonna help with her overall makeup application. Next, we're gonna go in with the Le Beige um, Glowing Fluids, and I believe this one is in the color Sunkissed, and I'm just gonna use that as a base all over her skin, again, just to give her a nice, subtle glow without making her look like a disco ball. This is gonna give your foundation a very good base to go off of. Next we're gonna go in with an oldie but a goodie. Um, this is a Bobbi Brown stick foundation in the shades 4.5 and 5. I'm gonna mix those two to give her her perfect shade. So what you guys are gonna see is that her foundation on her is gonna start off looking really orange but what we've found out about her skin is that it actually oxidizes in reverse. I think she has a little bit of olive undertones in hers. So instead of foundations oxidizing and turning orange on her, her skin has a tendency of cooling things down. So I need to start really warm with her in order to achieve a neutral finish. So it's gonna start off looking really orange, but don't worry, by the end of it, it's gonna end up looking really natural on her. Next, I'm gonna mix three Chanel concealers, one to cancel out the dark circles, one to conceal, and the other one to brighten. And I'm using um, the rose-colored one, the apricot one, and 40. I'm mixing those three just to give me the perfect um, cancellation and the perfect coverage for her. I'm just gonna go in in her under eye area, um, around her nose, um, on her eyelids, just areas that need a little more brightening and just, you know, areas that need a little more coverage. Um, I go in initially with a foundation brush and then I just go in with a dry, regular sponge. A beauty blender would work, but here I'm using a sponge. Next, we're gonna set everything in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. So as you can see, I'm using a lot of rolling motions and rolling motions, it actually helps the um, powder set in a little better without disturbing the makeup after it's been applied and then I go ahead and I dust off the excess. Then we're gonna go in with bronzer. So again, another oldie but goodie, the Kat Von D Shade Light Palette, and I'm gonna mix those two colors to give her her perfect shade. I didn't want anything that was a little too warm, but I didn't want anything too cool. So those two shades mixed together kind of gives her her perfect bronze and contour. And I'm just going in and giving her a little color, a little more dimension in her cheekbones, um, her jawline, just a little bit on her forehead. And as you guys can see here, like what started off as a very orange foundation has cooled down dramatically from the first point that I put it on. Even with eyeshadow or bronzer or anything, I kind of have to go a little warm for her because then her skin just cools everything down and then ends up being the perfect natural shade for her. Next, I'm gonna do her eyebrows. Um, I don't know why I didn't show this on camera. Um, I'm using the Chanel Eyebrow Pencil in number 40, Sandra, and I'm just going in and slowly filling in brows. I don't know, I feel like filling in brows is like the least interesting thing to watch. It's like the least interesting part of a makeup tutorial, so I mean, that's what I'm doing. I'm just filling in her brows, and then I'm, afterwards I'm going in with a spoolie to just kind of brush it out, and then boom, we move on to eyes. So 
as an eyeshadow base, I'm gonna go in with the Chanel eyeshadow cream shadow in eyeshadow cream shadow. I'm gonna go in with the cream shadow in Mirage. It just gives like a nice bronzy base for her. I'm just gonna apply it generously on her top lid and then go in with a clean brush to smooth it out. And then I'm gonna take a more defined brush and run that color on her lower lash line as well. And then we're gonna go in with the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes. Um, I'm using the Camel palette and the Mini Sunset palette. I'm gonna be mixing these two colors to achieve like a nice crease shade for her. But as you guys can see, like even before I even went in with a crease shade, the eyeshadow base that we put on gives her eyes just so much dimension already. Um, that's why I love using um, the Chanel cream shadows so much because they offer so much dimension without so much work. So, kind of gives me a head start, but with the two shades that I mixed, I'm just going in and defining her crease and making sure it's really nicely well blended. And then I'm gonna go in with a more defined brush and I'm gonna be using these two colors. Um, one is a very rich brown and the other one has kind of like a burnt terracotta brick red to it. Again, the mixture of these two colors are perfect on her. I know that red might look super red on any other person, but for her, like I said, her skin just turns and cools everything down. You guys can even see as I'm applying it, that red just kind of neutralizes into a very neutral brown. You can barely see the red tint in it. So I'm first going in with that really tight definer brush and I'm just really packing the color. And then I go in with a fluffy brush and then I diffuse everything out and I just keep blending until everything is nice and seamless. For lid color, we're gonna combine these two colors to give her a nice lid shade. Um, it gives her the perfect amount of warmth and gives her the perfect amount of brightness just for that center lid pop. And in between, I like to go in with that same fluffy brush just to make sure that everything is nicely well blended and nice and seamless to make sure that all the colors blend well together. And then I'm going in with a flat definer brush and I just went in and mixed those two same dark brown and terracotta color. And I just run it along her lower lash line and then I go in with a pencil brush and just buff everything out to smoke it out. Then we line her upper lash line with a liquid liner. I'm using the Chanel Signature Liquid Liner, but for her bottom lash, we're gonna go in with a brown shade. Um, I'm going in with a Chanel number 20 Espresso. So now we're gonna give her eyes a little bit of break. Um, I like to do that in between steps. So we're gonna move on to blush. For blush, we're gonna use um, Chanel Jersey. And then for highlight, another oldie but goodie. We're using the Anastasia highlighting palette and I'm just kind of mixing those two colors with a hint of tourmaline just to give her some nice glow, some nice highlights in certain areas. She's not a big highlighter fan. So I try to hold back, but as you guys can see, I still kind of went pretty heavy handed. Now we're gonna move back onto eyes. Um, we're gonna use the Chanel Revolution Mascara. I'm not a big Le Volume fan, but this mascara actually isn't too bad. And it works actually really well on her. And then for lips, we we're gonna use Chanel Sweet Beige along with Max Cork Lip Liner. Just do your thing. Line, I'm gonna line her lips. She keeps laughing, <laughs> but line her lips and then I'm going to apply the color, have her blot a few times. If you want, um, you can top it off with a gloss, but in this case, we just kind of went with a more mattifying finish because she's gonna have to put on a mask. <laughs> so um, we'll probably add on gloss later. 
now I know just what you need. So come back, come back. And your look is complete. I did spritz her down with some finishing spray, but your look is complete. Here's your maternity look. I know it's been a while since I've done a makeover with a voiceover, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed Daisy. Give her a big thank you for joining me here today. Again, if you guys like more videos like this, let me know in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys again next time. Beach. <laughs> <laughs> no! Okay. Okay.